Yeah, hi, this question's for Mr. Bernard. And I'll let you go ahead and read the verse, but I'd like if, if you could explain to us John 17, 5, please. John 17, 5. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Jesus is here praying as a man. He prayed in his humanity, of course. He prayed in the days of his flesh, Hebrews 5, 9. Uh, and so he was speaking to the Father. In fact, in verse 3, he says, This is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou sent. So he's thinking as of the Father as the only true God, the full undivided God here. So he is a man. He says, glorify me with the glory I had with thee. He is talking about the crucifixion. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. That is the supreme hour of glory. The lamb was slain from the foundation of the world, 1 Peter 1. And so in the plan of God, he was born for this hour. This was his hour. In fact, when he died, he was buried, he resurrected, he was glorified. The Bible speaks of him being glorified after, you know, the resurrection and ascension is the glorification. So he's saying, God, here I am as a man, humbly trying to do your will. The glory that you had planned before the foundation of the world. It didn't happen before the foundation of the world. It was planned. I want that glory to be manifested now. I'm ready to do your will. It's not talking about glory as a second person of the Trinity because... If God will not share his glory with another, how, also, how could a, a member of the Godhead, if there were such, lose glory? How could God lose his glory and have to get it back? And finally, later in this chapter, he talks about sharing this glory with his disciples. He can't share his divine glory with his disciples, but his death, burial, resurrection, ascension, he did share with his disciples. I think this is just one more example of the two persons relating to one another, it does say that they shared glory before the world was. That's very clear language, that's very plain language. To say that that's not what it means is to undermine what in fact Jesus Christ is saying. There was a glory that he shared with the Father, I agree. God does not share his glory, therefore, ergo, Jesus is God. The Father is God, but yet they share a glory before the world was. How can the Son of God as God, as the God-man, not have his glory, as Mr. Bernard pointed out? Well, Philippians chapter 2 gives us that answer. He empties himself, and he takes on the form of a man. He empties himself of his glory. Um, I have a, Pastor Cook. Pastor Cook, I have a question out of John 17 and 3. Jesus Christ calls his Father the only true God. And later on, Thomas, who heard this prayer, said in John 20 and 28, My Lord and my God, if Jesus Christ considered his Father the only true God, then where did Jesus Christ get his Godhood from? Jesus Christ was speaking as a man when he said, My Lord and my God. Or, I'm sorry, in John 20, 28? Is that the, was that the verse? John, John 20, 17, 17, when Jesus three. says that he has a God? Okay, John, 17 and John 17 and 3, he calls his Father the only true God. And the word only in the Greek means alone, without any, without any other. Right. He's speaking of the nature of God. And to say that, I, th I thought that we were in agreement that Jesus Christ was also God. And so that seems that that verse would actually undermine your position. Because here Jesus is speaking of the only true God, but yet he's including himself in the same context. To answer your question about John 20, 17, how could Jesus have a God when he says, uh, Do not cling to me, for I go to my God and to your God. Jesus there is speaking of a man, and it was as a man, as a high priest, he could not be touched before he went into the Holy of Holies. That was written in the Law of Moses. Well, I think this is exactly my point. John 17, 3, Jesus is the only true God. He's speaking as a man. So two verses later, when he says, Father, give me the glory that, that I had before the worlds were, he, he's still speaking in that same position as a man. The glory that I had is the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. He wasn't hanging on the cross next to the Father before the foundation of the world. But he's asking as a man, give me that glory that was in your plan from the beginning. This question is for Pastor Bernard uh, regarding uh, chapter 